Neptunium is a metal found in the actinides group. It has 93 protons, 93 electrons, and 144 neutrons. It was discovered by many people. However, Edwin McMillan and Philip Abelson get the credit for it, and they were the ones who got to name it. It was first discovered in 1934 and recognized as an element in 1940. It was created when uranium was fused in a neutron in a cyclo cyclotron. A cyclotron is a type of particle accelerator that charges particles and then accelerates them in a spiral path. It was created by Ernest Lawrence at the University of California in Berkeley. Neptunium is number 93 on the periodic table. Its density is 325.45 grams over milliliters. It melts at three it melts at 3900 degrees Celsius and it was an artificially created element. It was later discovered that it could be found in rare traces naturally. Named after Neptune, the seventh planet, Neptunium has a very long has a very long half-life with one of its isotopes having a half-life of 2.14 million years. Copernicium is a transition metal in group 7 of the periodic table. It has 112 protons, 112 electrons, and 173 neutrons. It was created on February 9, 1996 by Peter Armbruster and Gottfried Musenberg. To do this, they use a linear accelerator. A linear accelerator is a type of accelerator that charges particles and then accelerates them through a linear beam line. This machine was created by Rolf Widerdell in 1928. In the linear accelerator, they collided zinc and lead together to create copernicium. Zinc has 82 protons, lead has 30 protons, and when they collided them together, it created copernicium, which adds up to 112. Or an atom of element 112. Copernicium was originally going to be abbreviated as CP, but it was later changed to CN. So far, we have no uses for it, and it is very similar to radon. It is named after Nicholas Copernicus and has a half-life of 30 seconds.